Um, I'm standing here on the Mattel Beach and I want to, in I'll have Jeff introduce himself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm Jeff Jacobson. I'm from the Humboldt State University Vertebrate Museum. I'm here with Chris Callahan, also from the museum. And we're the ones with the permit. The museum's got the permit to collect ah. animals. Any marine mammal that comes up on the beach is protected by federal law. And one of the first things to get out to the community. Someone came and already cut teeth off that. That's jail time and thousands of dollars. It's it's kind of, it's extreme in a way, but it's an extreme case. All marine mammals are protected in the United States, including ones that come up dead on the beach. This is an endangered animal still, mm -hmm. and priceless for scientific value. So, uh, if someone gets caught with parts of this animal that don't, aren't under authorized under a permit, they can get busted big time. So tell me, what, what, what kind of a whale is this? This is a sperm whale. Uh -huh. And with, what what do you think happened without looking? I don't know. It's been dead for a, a it while. It seems like it's been dead for a while. It's been floating dead for a while. It's uh, bloated, so it's more advanced. We had one a little bit bigger than this, a couple feet bigger, wash up in Crescent City at the beginning of February. And back in 2003, we also had two sperm whales wash up within three yeah. weeks of each other, mm -hmm. March and, and April. Was there a relationship between those? We don't know yet. That uh -huh. hasn't been looked for. If we got tissue samples, we can look at the genetics uh -huh. and look at relatedness and, okay. and look for that. And we'll do that with this guy. And what was the cause of death of the one up in Crescent City or the possible cause of death? The probable cause of death probable. is that he it had consumed 53 pounds of discarded fishnet scraps, trawl nets. 53 pounds. 53 pounds. If you pack it down, it might fit yeah. into a 25 gallon bag. Yeah. Mm. But right now, it almost fills 50 gallon right. barrel. Right. It's dried and out. So it was saturated in his blood. And what had happened, it had burst through his stomach and led him to death, killed him. The thing uh, about plastic is that it doesn't dissolve, okay. it breaks down mechanically. So a whale sinks to the bottom, decomposes, the netting comes up out of them mm. to be eaten by another creature, and another creature, and another creature. It's gas. Yeah. It's so these guys start their lives out near the equator. This guy could have grown up in the Sea of Cortez.